I was it. talking for probably like half an hour. <laughs> Thank you for holding the door for me. <laughs> Hold on, boys. Whose grenade was that? Was that? There's us? two vehicles. Two vehicles pinching us here. They're coming in the. Oh, that was me. But fuck. But fuck. Oh, oh yes, let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy shit! There's a clip. Let's go. There we go. Yeah, corn. <laughs> yeah. Chuck your corn. <laughs> I'd say I'd chuck your sister's corn, but I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Please. No. It's Nico. What are you doing? Ow, I'm gone. I'm, I'm the... Nico. I'm the plan B guy. <laughs> Random. No! <laughs> oh, they were sitting at the top? My friend just exploded. <laughs> Let me see. Let me inspect the body. <laughs> Let me run up How right to where he got rocked. How was it going? You guys suck. My Why friend so just mean? exploded. Let me inspect the body. It's all broken down. Chat, what's up? Figure, uh, <clears throat> getting here as quick as I can. Let me, uh, take that preview off in OBS. All right. I'm hoping we can finish this tonight. I was hoping I could finish it last night, but, man, just ran out of gas. <laughs> Oh man, I wanna. First thing I wanna do is I wanna look at the ship log. It's like a couple of things that I wanna like look into a little bit more. I know I wanna hit the interloper up again. Um, there's that, and oh. Um...
Okay. Uh, we'll do that first. And then... I think I want to go to Ash Twin next. Or maybe I'll do the Quantum Moon next. But Interloper first. I might actually do Quantum Moon second. If it's close. What's up, D-Lo? first since it's right here of course freaking I need RB or the right bumper and freaking So I gotta approach this from the south pole. Interesting. This shit's freaking crazy, dude. Yeah, deal. That's what I was doing last night. I just had a really dumb theory I wanted to test before uh, I ended the stream last night and it got me killed, so. Dumb theory it was. Quantum theory, or quantum moon is, <laughs> quantum theory is a nice puzzle too. Oh shit. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Recall the rule of the sixth location.
okay, that's weird. Um, okay, I don't think it changed anything. Does it change this stuff outside? Oh, it does. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, so the tower freaking moves too. Very cool. And lit. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. I don't want to go too high here. Get freaking zerped out. Okay, so the tower moves. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, close this. And then. So this will be like White Hole Station, right? Oh, it's going to be like. Dark Bramble, maybe? I don't know. The rule of the sixth location. Okay. Zerp. Selenium, I am here. After watching it wander from the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I'll make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always comes, welcomes its visitors at the South Pole. It's just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. I think I've read that before. This is her ship. 
I don't... I don't want to freaking activate anything and zerp, <laughs> zerp out of here. What I think is happening? A lot. I might just, I might just do it. Fuck it. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. just killed me <sighs> yeah I have no idea what's happening there but we'll find out <laughs> I put my super suit on Alright, what did I learn? Uh, what was the rule of the sixth location? Um, the My Shrine that Wanders the Quantum Moon, you have recalled it. Okay, it's all the rules and shit that I found. Possibly to an unknown sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which when the quantum moon carried them to a sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Hmm. I guess how would I move it then? Obviously, like what we were doing, that was moving it. No idea you could die like that. Leave it to me to find it. I'll uh, hit the quantum moon again if it's close, but if it's not, we'll hit the interloper and finish that. That this would be the South Pole question mark. Yup. Shrine's got to be on the North Pole. So we'll find the shrine. This must be the South Pole then, obviously. Freaking, let me just say something more obvious than what I just did. So if this is the South Pole, then what is the North Pole look like? 
Streamer makes obvious statements. Okay, so... This is south. Southern Observatory. That makes sense. What would be north? Maybe here? I don't th we'll we'll check this. What do I think the symbols mean? I think it's just all the planets like so this would be Giants Deep. Dude, this is like that freaking one planet on Interstellar. <laughs> it's just like uh those aren't mountains, those are waterfalls. Oh, okay, we got some shit. Um, no, this is just everything that I just read already. Which it is. Okay. Um, could explore here is just a C. Oh, the ship's here too. What the fuck? Is this Selenium ship? Okay. That's interesting. Um, I actually might... I want to try it again, but I feel <laughs> now I'm scared that it'll actually kill me again. Okay. Um. think that I've done this one yet. It's just Timber Hearth.
So, can the shrine and the ship not be in the same place at the... No, maybe here, because it's kind of small, but... Okay. This is what it looked like when I landed the first time, so that doesn't really lend much to my the cold one being the South Pole theory. If I landed here and this is what it was. That's Selenium. I need fuel to. So it was Burl Hollow was the one that I landed on. I want to explore that one, but I also, yeah, I need some fuel. Park. Where's my ship just gone? Oh, well, I guess I could also look at the freaking map to see if I'm on the North Pole or not. ship is. for you to see when you realize the map was there. I just forget about it. It's just like not right in my line of sight and I really don't pay that much attention to it. Obviously. I think I ever saw the ship go missing. Well, it's gotta be around here somewhere. I just, I'm just pretty sure this is what I landed on, but maybe not. Oh shit, just like grumbling all of a sudden. Hmm. I don't think it's this one. Still pretty low.
We're just gonna walk into this shit, dude. <laughs> Do I have enough fuel to get up there? Folk. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, so interesting. Crash landing. So, so when you're moving the quantum moon around, you're like actually going from planet to planet. Okay. So that makes a little more sense. Okay. No, my name Selenium landed her shuttle on the, at the Quantum Moon South Pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. I found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit near the South Pole. <laughs> uh oh, stinky. Okay, so if we're going planet to planet. It's got to be on Giant Steep then. And if that's the case, I need to make sure I got my ship with me. I feel like I've gotten lucky with the quantum moon spawns. I don't think that was the same one I saw earlier. Where is the shrine, dude? Okay. So we go giant steep. I'm back for more frustration. This freaking guy. Is my ship going to be here when I get out? I doubt it.
This is anything like the other, like the big boy freaking uh, tornado or hurricane on Giant Steep. I've got to go in through the top. So do I maybe have to take a picture of it so it still exists, kind of like the moon entrance? Or do I keep going? Yeah, that looks like the North Pole to me. So that just transformed me back to the South Pole? Yup, totally confused. Hang on. Yeah, that's the spam shit I was talking about. I don't know what the hell that is, but... see if this is Selenum's ship. Yep. Okay. Um, so I'm back on the South Pole. Uh-oh, stinky. Maybe there's multiple North Poles? That's not working. Um, 
Let me just go to the Ash Twin one. I don't think there's any North Pole access on this one, boys. Um, any uh, Shriners in chat? Is there something up here? This close enough to the North Pole to freaking I don't I doubt it. It'll only go when the shrine is on the North Pole. Is this North Pole enough? Let me try the Giant's Deep one again. the ship here.
Man, all these North Poles suck. This is a true North Pole. Hooray. Let's go. Uh, now what? I did it. Music's a little ominous. What the fuck, dude? Uh, space butthole. Oh, shit. Solanum didn't die. Let's go. Just clubs me. Pick up me stone. Um. She looks so cool. Um, oh, the, dude, this is so awesome. <laughs> Selena, these are the two tenets of Know My Philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Um, identify you. I am Selenum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and now we call it home. Um, identify me. I never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I am. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. This is the quantum moon, where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Uh, eye of the universe. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it. Only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself. My clan believes it dwells in an un, in, in, in an extremely distant orbit around this solar system. Whatever. Freaking. It's pretty hype. I'm just freaking super excited. Okay. Uh, we did quantum moon. Me. Um, uh, explain... Explain yourself. <laughs> I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Nomai and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. 
I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Like the butthole of the universe to me, dude. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards of that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious ob uh, conscious ob Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface us now while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and the, that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the areas surrounding the quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually became quantum too. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and find the eye of the universe. I am unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Can I just hang out with Selenum for, like, the rest of the deal here? Very cool, dude. And what did you achieve by banning me? Nine combinations so far. I'm good to you and you do it. Good to me. What the hell are you talking about, dude? That was just spam. I mean, I'll just like. I mean, I could do that. Good to you. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Nine combinations. Um, I have the universe. And quantum moon. Right? What the fuck was that about? I'm just here to play games, dude. I'm getting a pissing contest with me. I was fucking delete you from the channel. I imagine you notice the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it is currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giants Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it's consciously observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Um. Many of my clan believe the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe this eye was malevolent. Malevolent. To have lured my clan to the star system only to vanish them so completely. 
but I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday, but I fear this may be on my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try the, to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? Um. Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. No. I don't mind. Um. You and Quantum Moon, maybe? I'm just trying to hit, like, everything that I can think of. Uh, like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the Quantum Moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. I think I'm strange. Okay, I've did that. Um, okay, I did that one. I think that I did them all. Oh, that's cool. The I remember that from the mural. The friend bit is so mushy. Alright, I think that's it. Hugs. Yeah, that was all sick and lit. It's the first time that I've gone to like the end of the the loop since I watched that sun ex <laughs> explode. Every other time I freaking wipe to get to the next one. I'm going to be right back.
All right. All right. It popped up to check on Piper really quick. And then I went to freaking switch my laundry around and my dryer was squeaking. So I was like, what the hell? All right. Uh, check the log. Um. So I got all that stuff. Um, how's the dog go? She's, I went to my parents' house today and she was kind of acting weird there too. So I don't know if, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on with her. It's like really hit or miss. It's just weird. Like she's just really like, the last couple of months, she's kind of been a little anxious, but she'd just, like, come and sit next to me, and she'd be okay. But, like, since the that one stream, she's just been really, really weird. I don't know. Um... I wonder if there's more it ash twin that I well actually I want to do the interloper thing first and then that's done we'll do interloper and then we'll uh, look at ash twin stuff more This controller thing, dude. When I need to lock onto planets, I can't freaking lock onto planets. When I need to freaking uh, use the thing, my scout, the one with the right bumper doesn't work. Is there a spot back here that I can land my ship?
do a barrel roll. Now it's ghost goop time. All that stuff with the quantum moon was pretty freaking awesome. I just came up through there. That's not what I wanted to do. Wonder if Okay, okay. Is this the way? That's one of them. Oh, it's a dead no my music. Poke. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. Pi, the stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Poke. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. Pi, I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Poke, Pi, whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything like anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? Pi, this is orders of magnitude worse than I had imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously, and the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Pi, return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. Poke, what are you doing, Pi? 
Pi, the more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. Oh no. Real sad boy hours. Somehow none of this stuff is contagious because it freaking splurged all over the uh, solar system. I think that's basically everything in here. Almost made it. Okay, so we check out the ship log. So we've got Black Hole Forge and Ash Twin are the last two things. And then I assume we hit the vessel up. Um, Only two questions before Ash Twin. Oh, uh, frick the launch module. Okay, I guess I could hit that first and see if there's anything with the launch module that I could see. And then the Black Hole Forge stuff, I just don't know. Do I go to Ash Twin? Or do I need to go to Hanging City and then Ash Twin? Because I know I can, like, control it from there. I mean, they're both pointing to it, so it's got to be involving both of them somehow. We'll hit the launch module first. <laughs> Giants deep. I really can't get over how cool the quantum moon thing was. 
That's pretty fucking sick, dude. Selenium just like asked me to describe in my language how I feel about the encounter. That was pretty fucking sick, dude. Probably muted. 2022. Okay, have I even been in here? Control module. Um, I have been in here. Just been a minute. Launch module. Did I just not fucking look at this stuff the last time? <laughs> oh, that's right. I can't freaking... I can't go in from that way. I remember that. Okay, so I can probably go in from the outside. Um, okay. If I'm going to do more of these games, I'm definitely going to have to freaking not go so ADD. I'm like, oh, that's something. Oh, what am I doing now? And squirrel. Dude, can I freaking get up? Oh my god, just let me. Let me refuel, first of all. There's no way not to land there and freaking not. Don't want to be sucked in the hole, dude. Okay. Where is the breach? off to my right. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna freaking grab that no uh, little thingerino. And I'm gonna freaking read me some shit. Avens, Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Mallow, we, the thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Avens, Cassava tells me he and the construction yard 
Construction yard crew have determined a power setting that we are not under any circumstances to go above. Mallow, I see. And am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I've I've read this already. Um Mallow, imagine Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask Privet. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so okay. I've read this stuff too. Um, Have I not? I feel like I have read this. Um... so eerie. So where's all the launch module information? This is tracking control. Oh man, if that killed me, that would have actually been kind of funny. Um, hmm. everything is all blown to bits. I wonder if there's a launch module somewhere in the station that I didn't see. Or a launch like data pad thingy. I'll go refuel really quick and then hop back in there and go to the control room. Okay. Refueled. Let's go. Okay, that's the control. Probe tracking module. Well, I ain't tracking much of shit, because it's gone. Control. I visited. I visited it last video at the core of Giant's Deep. Okay. So did I just miss something or something? 
know I'm pretty sure I did all this shit already. stuff. Okay. Um, why is this all different colors? Yeah, I've read this. Um Okay. Check out the uh Got shit happening in here or something. Unless we're just like going by the sun. <laughs> okay. I wonder what I missed then. I wonder if I didn't just do that. Okay, launch module done. So... Probe tracking module, module projection stone had the same lightning as under Giant's Deep. I think that was the clue that would lead you to look inside. Okay. Well, that would make sense because Cypher was talking about it last night, and I'm like just kind of stumbling through it. And I'm like, if I was just playing this game by myself, I wouldn't have known to do that. But I guess like that makes more sense if I saw that first. So I guess we go to the Hanging City and turn the forge on and then go to Ash Twin. Since it's like pointing to both, like uh, I can't do anything but that from there, so. I also don't know how much time I have. the moon. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, Brittle Hollow's kind of like half hollowed out or a lot hollowed out. There's Tower. Uh, hey, city. Where are you at? Where are you at, baby? Slame, the selenium reveals one of my favorite moments. Well, especially after you just like roll up and it looks like her body's just there. So I just assume she was dead. Maybe she is like partially, partially dead. Uh, which room was it? Black hole force controls. And then I'm just uh, gonna warp. And then. Twin. Oof. So I'm uh, getting sucked into the black hole PTSD here. And before I get taken out by a rock. is hauling ass, dude. Feels bad that they know that they're not quite dead but not quite alive either. Yeah, being stuck in that kind of purgatory would suck. Is this sand gonna like move on or what? through here. Clary, here's our first delivery, Yarrow. Or her, okay. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core sibling on the Brittle Hollow as I write this. Yarrow, my gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin Project is underway. Yarrow, I confess, I'm deeply curious about what you and Polk found on the White Hole Station that started this project. 
Could I visit sometime and learn more? Clary, I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model of for the towers being built for the Ash Twin Project. So a visit to the station wouldn't be doubly useful. Hint, hint. Yarrow, I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. Oh, whoa. Clary, I'd be happy to explain our findings. Poke. Yarrow, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, her density rivals the neutron stars and go meet her at the White Hole Station. Clary, I wish I could wait for here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. I don't remember if I read that or not, but it doesn't hurt. Some of this stuff, if I read it long enough ago, it's like... Well, I guess this teleports to somewhere, so I should probably just stand and wait, right? Unless it's going to send me back to, uh, no, it probably would have already, to Sun Station. God. Fuck. Why didn't I just walk? Okay, well, the more you know, I guess. Oh, why did I do that? I'm just gonna freaking. Oh, I doubt that I can freaking get there and back. Alright. Now I know what to do. So, yeet. Oh, of course that didn't kill me. Let's check out White Hole Station sometime. Let me just freaking zerp myself right into it. Yeet. Would have been cool to do that the first time and not have to go do that again, but. Oh well. Okay. Brittle Hollow. Turn the forge on. Profit. to get in there without freaking just yeeting my way through at least uh, the hanging city so 
kind of like around right here. A secret entrance over here. on the other side. There it is. I'm like, I know that there's this freaking secret entrance here somewhere. you forge forge away the forge come on dude exactly where the uh, secret way is that I just came in from. I think it's here. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Zerp. So many stairs. Really? Okay, it is Ash Twin time.
Okay. So I need to be... in this building, I think. I think I need to wait for this to get sucked up enough that I can hit the teleporter underneath the building. It's too late for me to go in that way. I actually think that that way is the uh, first on station, anyways. That's cool. My ship's uh, getting the big suck right now. I definitely got here super early this time. Oh, I just missed it. And now we wait.
Okay, stay on the path this time, you idiot. Return warp status charge. Step onto the warp receiver platform and return and activate return warp. Okay. Um, Black hole forge. Left. 30 meters. Like I gotta go find a thing so I can read some shit. Okay. Root, where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? Poke. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so their deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervical spine. Poke. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver location. Ask Yarrow. He is familiar with them. Clary. All the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. Root. My gratitude. In that case, Poke. Clary. I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Clary, Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Rue and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Poke, of course you are. Poke. Of note, Yarrow believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. Namely, that one of the towers on Ashman will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Poke. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? Clary. That isn't an unreasonable belief given the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. Clary, I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. Clary, no. Yarrow understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together that they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. Um, I'll grab that. Clary, regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? Um... Clary, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. Clary, more accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not poke. Cypher, have a good day at work, dude. Thanks for dropping by. Poke, we don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center. Poke, of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. Poke, as such, any Nomai stepping onto the warp platform during the activate window, or the active window, will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. Okay, I'll take this. And zerp. And then I'll go down here. Be cautious near the boarding area while the black hole forge is in operation. Clary, I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ashtwin. Yarrow, I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here is working on the Ashwin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. Poke. No, it isn't. Yarrow, is everything well at the forge? Poke, the core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Clary, don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design is beautifully clever. Beautifully clever. Clary, ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well.
Okay. What is off to the right? Exit the surface. Like Hope Forge North, forty meters. to exit the surface. kind of screw that up. I'm going to have to do that again. Suicide. Okay, let me check the log really quick. Creative ways to off yourself. I just don't want it to be the same every time. Okay. Um, a warp through his alignment is that's warp receiver. Um. Yeah, I don't think I saw that. Okay, so I'll go back, turn that on, and then go to Ash Twin again. So I freaking was exploring and fell. As is tradition.
And so I'll park here. I'll take the shortcut. I think I activated this the last time. I think I just jumped. Now we go to Ash Twin. And finish discovering all this stuff. Headlights damage, landing gear. I don't need that. You watch me fly. Well, I'm going to be here a minute. I could probably fix this while I'm waiting so I don't have to listen to it spark for the next five minutes.
don't remember how I just did this, but... Ship. Don't remember this one having a hole in the building. This one. Damn it. Now I'm feeling stupid because I don't remember which one of these rooms I needed to go to. And I like just did it. I thought it was the sun building because I took a I took an elevator to get up there. Probably gonna go to Timber Hearth. Oh, was this one? Okay. I'm like, frick, dude, I feel like an idiot. Can't remember which one it was. Um, 
in the forge itself. Okay, so I assume like once this lines up with that, we're Gucci. Okay, I guess how do I stop that? Or like, what do I do to, uh... Do something outside here when that meshes up. So, uh, um, I guess was that it for uh so I saw like the log was updated when I come in here I don't see anything else that I'm missing in here I already read this read this Maybe if I'm out here in the warp thingy while it's uh, doing its deal. What the heck? Was weird uh what's up arrow i'm doing pretty well man how about you okay so everything just goes black apparently when uh you stand here through the warp thingy okay i'm just gonna drop this i don't really feel like there's anything else up in there That's where I warped from. Do I need to go back? I'm 
warp thing is charged. And I don't... think this is anything for me. This just goes to the surface. Hmm. Find some Dishonored in Hades. I always thought that uh, Dishonored looked pretty cool, but I've heard uh, really good things about Hades. I'm definitely at a loss right now. feel like there's anything else that I need in here. I mean, that means something. I just don't know... What? Unless that's just to demonstrate what it does. Like Rogue Games, so I'm trying to get into stealth genre a little bit or a little bit have you ever played any of the old splinter cell games <laughs> i always thought double agent was a lot of fun it was like the one that i played a ton of You have not. There's definitely some good uh, stealth gameplay in those games too. Well. Since I think I'm getting pretty close to the end of my cycle here, I might just venture off into here. All right.
Check to see what the ship log says. I'm gonna go check on my laundry. Okay, well that's it. Um, successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for the installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. So I guess I just gotta go to Ash Twin. It's like, that's it. Okay. Uh, I will be right back, chat. What's up, Sadie? All right. To Ash Twin, but I don't specifically know where. Back from hanging out with gaming the past few days. Nice. Whoa, Billy. That was really way too fast. Try not end up in the sun. I haven't seen them in a while.
Got to go see the Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill Museum and Cody. I'd like to, I'd hope that I could go and look at that kind of stuff now and not just be tired of it, I guess, if that makes sense. Just because you just grow up around that stuff out there and it's just freaking everywhere. It doesn't have a lot of the, the touristy newness of somebody that hasn't spent their whole life out there. Central Chamber of Ash Twin. Took me to the Irma. I do miss the Irma Prime Rib. Oh, food's always pretty good there. Is that all stuff that you've never done? I guess I've always just assumed you've been there before. Oh, cool. Yeah, I guess you have been out here for a while. I guess I just always thought you'd done all that stuff. That's who you got to, though. The... It's not really new anymore, but the newer addition onto the Buffalo Bill Historical Center was pretty cool when, it, when they came out with that. It was a little bit more fun than just the regular stuff in there. Might have been to the armor when you were little. <laughs> yeah, but now you got to go and you can actually remember it. Basically, you just need to wait until all of the sand gets off of here. <sighs> so I'm going to be here a while. I might actually look at the map view of some of this stuff just to figure out where I need to go. Find a way in here. So I'm thinking I just go in here, grab the warp core, go back to the vessel, and Bob's your uncle, and I'm done. I think I got a little bit of time to kill here. So 
So all these towers are warp stations. The Ashtrin, Ashtwin core was where? Going out with your dad. Oh, I love you too. Have a, uh, have fun. Enjoy your vacation. Central chamber of Ashtwin. So it's got to be. Somewhere in the middle. Wherever the hell that is. So if everything goes as planned and I can actually finish this game tonight, this will be the last stream for a little bit. I gotta work on some video stuff. That's probably what I'll spend the majority of this week doing. And then hopefully I'll have all this stuff done. Then next week I can finish Alien and then maybe play the DLC for this. But we'll see. It depends on how productive everything is this week. So what I want to do is make like one big video and then make some shorts and stuff so I can like pump those out while I'm doing some while I'm doing a playthrough or something. That way I won't have weeks like what the next week will be where I stream a whole bunch and then I don't have anything like a video or a stream to for people to watch. Checked out one of your video essays on Interstellar. Thanks, man. I would have liked to include more music in that just to kind of hammer the point home, but man, YouTube is just a fickle bitch when it comes to putting music without commentary. See, so assume the worst when, you know, God forbid you do it for creative purposes. Didn't know I'm it was nice. I didn't know you made those until I saw your page. Thanks, man. Yeah, I I've kinda gone through like a few different things of what I want to do for content. I think I'm gonna get back to doing video essays. I like them and I think I can do them in a more intelligent way than what I was trying to do them before, as far as you know, like copyright claimed and stuff. But I tried doing those for a while and then I was gonna do like some game stuff and then I just didn't have the time for it. And I was starting to do some like auto restoration stuff with our business, but I think instead of doing like bite sized videos, I'll just do like a start to finish restoration video and then just like put that on my automotive channel that I want to do. So I'll kind of be able to get to do a little bit of everything, which I think will kind of make my channel a little bit different than everybody else's. It's like kind of the goal with me just streaming on here instead of on Twitch because I feel like that if I'm actually making content and stuff then that people can actually watch, then it serves a better purpose for me to be here. Because people watching you on Twitch and then taking the time to look at your YouTube channel is just unlikely. At least it was for me when I was still over there. I really need to get the vinyl for Interstellar. Freaking soundtrack is so good. I 
All right, kind of start getting the lay of the land here. You have a vinyl collection? Yeah, that's what the... If I can roll out of the way here long enough to not get sucked off by the sandstorm. Fuck. Yeah, that's what, like, all those are. Is those are all, all vinyl. I got, like, a pretty good mix of used ones that my uh, stepdad's given me and new ones that I bought. Fix this hole really quick while I'm in between stuff. It's definitely a fun hobby. Just new vinyl's expensive. <laughs> and it's hard to resist new vinyl, especially when they come out in cool colors and everything. It's like, oh, that's awesome. 2 LP, 40 bucks. It's like, at least it'll look pretty on the turntable. I don't see anything there yet. I'm stuck, dude. Wonder if this was anything. Okay, I did all that. That would have been hilariously unlucky if I got ported there. All right, how are we looking? How are we looking? I don't see an entrance to anything yet. Knowing this game, it's gonna be freaking right down to the wire. What I know so far about the Ashwin project that I need to get to the central hub because I'm pretty sure there's a warp core that I'm gonna need for the vessel and that it's sealed off and it's at the center of Ashwin Playing.
I don't think that was bad information delivery for just a little pop quiz. Especially since I'm like the king of just reading shit and then forgetting about it. If I can't get in here from like just brute forcing it, maybe I got a warp in there from somewhere. But I've never really sat here and watched all the sand go away either, so I don't know if there's anything. These just go freaking up, so I don't think that does me any good. Love the janky space program, made <laughs> their ships out of wood. time I need to be seeing something here soonish. What's Ember look like? Ember looks pretty full. I wonder if there's a teleport from Ember to Ash Twin. Unless it's something like super late here. The rock texture almost looks edible. It's a little, uh, little bit of rock candy we got here. This stuff is so good, just freaking pure sugar. Is that a door? Go straight up. Mm. Why would I need to do that? Okay. 
All sand's gone. Now what do? Crash immediately, apparently. Alright. Well, when they said it was freaking sealed, they freaking meant it, dude. So there's got to be a warp thing for me to get in there. Upside, you get to watch one more supernova. That's if I figure it out in the next time. Look at all my notes. You'll figure it out. You either solve puzzles really quick or you get lucky. Thanks, man. I have a little bit of both and neither, I guess. There's got to be... I'm just I'll just look at everything. Okay, so... Central chamber inside Ashwoon was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. Know my plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ashwoon. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ashwoon. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ashwoon. Um. It's 
Sensation Powers, the Ash Twin Project. Towers allowed the Nomite to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. No my name poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ashwin project. Uh, diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. The warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five degrees of the astral body center. This results in the slightly longer warp windows. Um How do I get in there? That's because that's where they built the stuff to seal it off. Um, You know, I've seen, like, where you portal in, like, you uh, put the little tablet on there. And you see all the Nomai statues. But I would assume that is where the Ashwin Project is. I just have no idea how to get there. Thinking, like, everything I learned is the Black Hole Forge... Maybe I go Black Hole Forge again and see if that, if I, I can just, like, trip a memory or something. I just got, like, nothing. Do 
Do I want a hint? I would actually take a hint because I want to finish this tonight. I don't want to be here for two more hours just in the name of doing it myself. I feel like for the most part I've done it without hints, so I'll, I will gladly take one. a lot of freaking things <laughs> heading for Brittle Hollow, holy shit. paths were constructed how many have you visited and where do they go well six were constructed I guess that if there's a warp pad for the quantum moon then I haven't gone there There's Sun Station, Timber Hearth, Giant's Deep, Brittle Hollow. Um, I think there's a White Hole Station one. And then probably Ember Twin. I guess I could just go to Ash Twin, just like hit all the the pads, I guess. Or Ash Twin, rather. So now I've hit Sun Station and Brittle Hollow. I think part of the reason I feel like I've taken them all is because I've, like, probably been to most of, if not all of them, so it feels like I've just taken them.
Okay. I don't think I've taken this one, whatever it is. Sand, hurry up. I wonder if there's only three of those heads lit up because I've only used three portals or three uh, pads or whatever. Oh my god. That explains why that one's got the door busted open on it. This one's got to be giant steep. I swear to God, if the sand sucks me up before I get zerped, I'm going to be a little upset. This is Ember Twin. I think I've taken this one before. Oh, this is freaking. Yeah, this is Ember Twin. I have taken that one before. there I don't know if this one goes anywhere I mean I would 
think it would, but I don't know. It's not giant steep then. Can leave a scout on the pad to see where it goes. Yeah, I guess. Maybe that one just freaking gets sucked up into the sand or something, I don't know. I'm gonna run out of oxygen anyways because I wasn't really paying attention. All right. That one, I don't think I have a choice. I think I'm gonna have to send a scout.
Man, I am just at the point right now where I just want to finish this thing. Sand. Sandman. Okay. Okay, I've already taken the one that's in there, at least that level. Okay, I took that one. This one, I just, like, I don't freaking think it goes anywhere. 
I mean, it might, but... I feel like I've stood on here for all of them. Sun Station. Oh my God. Try leaving a scout of the pad with a broken roof. Well, I did that for the other one, and the scout didn't take off, so I just figured that it was. Messed up. For the love of God, dude, come on. I guess I'll just have to fucking land. That was exactly what I wanted to do, game. It's pretty freaking sweet. So, do you just get, like, zerped inside from the broken one? Is that how that works? So just walk in here. I guess I thought when I got sucked up by the sand that I needed to get out of the way. So if I was a little bit more patient, like everything else in this game, I probably would have found it just getting the suck. Or not. What the hell? Is that in the wrong one?
Oh, so I was either on the wrong one or I'm just even more confused. All right. Mr. Sandman, bring me some sand. So first of all I'll do is I'll shoot a probe down on the one with the broken roof, because there's two, and figure out which one it was. Before I try to uh, get the old zerp. This freaking like waiting around for stuff is just like killing me, dude. I was on the right pad. What the hell? Then I really don't understand. Unless I have to like make sure I'm jetpacked up through or something. It's just like, first of all, I'm feeling very whiny because I want to beat this because I want to know what happens at the end, and I just want to be done. So that's part of it. The second part is just like, just a general waiting for freaking shit to go away. So I've got my time window. So if I was on the right roof, I don't know what I did wrong. I know I'm going to have to go back to the vessel again, so I'll be freaking screwing around with those stupid anglerfish for a bit.
park my ship in a safe enough location to where if I do get zerped, I don't, that doesn't get the big suck too. Got plenty of practice with the fish, yeah. I guess the thing with the fish is like I'm just more upset that I didn't do all this stuff before so I only had to go there once like did you do it did you hit the vessel before you discovered all this stuff or did you just have to hit the vessel once through please For the sake of time, when I get the suck here, do I need to freaking do I need to hit the booster or do I just get the suck and that's it? here. Try to avoid the sand entirely? Okay. I could try and do that. Before, I'm like, I guess the sand sucks me up? Question mark? this
Oh, Sandy. So I just need to avoid the sand for like the first little bit. Is that what I'm getting out of that? Okay. It's more worse where the sand's coming from. Because I don't remember. Oh, what the fuck? Man, scared the shit out of me. Okay. Can I crouch? Son of a bitch, dude. Hide under cover. Man, at this point, I don't even know if I want to freaking get it now, because, I mean, how much time do I have left before I go there? Because, freaking, I'm sure there's going to be ten fucking minutes of stuff I got to read. Man, like, there's <laughs> hide under cover. Like, where, bro? I mean, like, here? I mean, it's not going to desert me from here. So is the objective to get sucked, like, when the sand comes over? So, like, hide until the sand's all the way here and then go out?
finally. Uh, so I got five minutes. Mass receiving data from protracting module, giant steep memory statue, timber Chris memory statue. Five minutes until end of cycle commission. Yarrow, today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in the space we've carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. Colas, we also finished relocating all subterranean plants we had met while digging. Raimi, we'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. Pi, how far we've come since our experiment at High Energy Lab. I can still hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis was true. Yarrow, Polk was just... Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us back from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant's Deep, where Cassava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Cassava. Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Poke. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Cassava had interrupted my work less frequently to <laughs> ask for updates. Yarrow, the important point is we're all connected through Ash Twin now, and also I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Yarrow, our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well, and that Avis advocates or Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. Yarrow, but then if anyone goad a device into exploding, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in interest of the safe of safety. Yarrow. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? Yarrow. Phlox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. Yarrow. When the Ashwin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Yarrow, Pi and, De and Idea worked hard on the sun station, and at last it is complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power to Ashwin the Ashwin project requires. Remy, I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. This music's banging. Yarrow, we're nearly ready to activate the Ashwin project. Here's what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun prompting it to explode. Yarrow. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashwin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe cannon from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ashwin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can, we can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Pi, suppose we redesign the sun station. To generate the power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. Yarrow, however, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ashwin project is theoretically sound. We are only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Raimi, I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. Idea, this is easier expressed than accomplished. Pi, you can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. Yaro, we are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly a comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. Yaro, it's been a very long time since we've last explored something somewhere new. So we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Hmm. Artificial gravity control. Remove the core will disable the Ash Project. You're about to access the core while the Ashram Project is active.
I'm still the mess inside the Ashwin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I feel as though I'm being observed. Ramey, it's comforting to know that the statues will not get pair will not pair until the project succeeds, otherwise I imagine the experience will be hard to endure. Flocks, ideally I missed the core opening. Oh shit. Where is all the other shit? Um, it does intended that core is the core is open first. Well, the devs never meant me. They will? Why is that? Flocks, if anything goes wrong with the Ashwin Project, the statues in their mass will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. I can turn on gravity. I'm just like trying to hurry. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of time left. Okay, um. Yaro, my gratitude for the latest shipment, a nail. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Remy and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for the cracks. Our final safety check. Aneo, this is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. Yarrow, we'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ashwin Project could lead to a disaster. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of the Ashwin. Yarrow, I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ashwin Project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. I think I'm read this already. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um... So am I gonna have to get here, grab the warp core, and then go put it in the vessel, like, all in one run? Yep. What? I am dead. Oh, so do you, like, die if you don't yoink that warp core out quick enough? Best of luck. Thanks, D'Lo. This ought to be fun and not annoying at all. I 
Took out the course on our reset. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder if there are any people that, like, did that and was like, oh, I guess that's game over. And then just walked away from the game. That's brutal. You gotta freaking blow like at least five minutes here. Far away is Dark Bramble. I guess it's not that far away. Start the suck. I think some people might like that ending. Stop the suffering immortality. Probably would have taken that inning an hour ago. I'm just excited to see what's on the other side of, uh... The vessel being all active. How's the game been so far? I would say that I've... I've enjoyed it. I think little bits like what I just spent the last our doing or like the weak point of it where you're just trying to figure something out and you have to wait like a certain period of time like especially being so close to the end it's just like calm the hell on dude but other than some moments like that I think it's been really good music's good been fun to watch me unravel the story. I think that my unravel and everybody else's unravel are just like two different things. I just like grab the string and yank it. The moon was a highlight today. Yeah, the quantum moon was pretty freaking awesome. Judging by how long this is going to take to get this like to freaking clear this thing out. If I don't get this on like the first or second try, I'm probably gonna call it for the night. 
Because I don't know if I can stay awake long enough to watch the sand treatment happen like three or four more times until I get it. If I don't get it this time. Get some sleep, the ending is worth it. Well, if we don't get it this time, then I'll hop off and do it tomorrow. I'm just like ready to be done so I can go back through the stream and like get clips and stuff because there's a lot of cool things that happened and you know, funny things and start working out video stuff. Cactus. Do we know who this dead Nomai is out here? I think I'm just gonna call it there. Man, how did that not kill me? hit is gonna freaking hurt. <laughs> Alright. Now let's call it there for the night. I can't sit there and literally watch sand for freaking the next hour until I get it. I'm not sure when I'll uh, be on tomorrow. But I'll figure that out. I've got quite a bit of stuff I need to get done tomorrow, so that's why I was kind of hoping tonight would be it. But that's going to take a minute, and like you said, I don't want to be half asleep or impatient or whatever with it. So um, that's it for tonight. Uh, we will finish this tomorrow. It'll probably be a shorter stream, hopefully. If it's a shorter stream, that means that uh, the angler fish didn't give me that much trouble. So we'll go from there. So much love, everybody. D-Lo, thanks for hanging out, bud. I appreciate you. Chat, you enjoy the rest of your evening slash morning slash afternoon, wherever you are. Much love, everybody. I'll catch you tomorrow and we'll uh, we'll finish this game. Later.